Hello everyone, I am Cool Guy. Welcome back. Today's video is discussing the new season of Arrivals Fusion, Hollow Words. As I dive into the weapon, there are some things to consider when you're looking for perk combinations. This can be a useful PvE or PvP fusion. You get it from the Umbral Ingrams, which is a system I enjoy. You can focus it in the first column as a chance to be obtained, but you can focus it more in the second column as a 50% chance. It's a 740 RPM charge time arc fusion, so precision frame. Same as Epicurean main ingredient. When we get into the stats here, there is a theme, and with what we know about fusion rifles, we can use that information to get a more complete roll. It has a range of 54, stability of 44, handling of 31, reload of 28, aim assist of 63, and a recoil direction stat of 75. Aside from the aim assist, which is decent, and the recoil, which is near perfect, at 75 the pattern's vertical, all the other stats, the range, stability, handling, reload, are the lowest out of all 740 RPM precision frames. Some stats are actually 10 points or more behind the next best fusion for that stat category, so it has abysmal base stats, but this is by no means a bad fusion rifle. For the range, I want to bring up the chart I made for the State of Fusion Rifles video in the Crucible. There's a link below, a card at the top of the screen if you'd like to check it out. Range was affected, various fusions were used in the testing, and the conclusion is that there is a cap at 17 meters for all fusion rifles. It does max damage up to 17 meters, then from 17 to 24. There's harsh fall off damage in between there in that section, and after 24 meters, it hits the damage floor, and at that point, it will always do that same number once it's in the floor. Hollow Words does 39 per bolt, and it has a base range of 54. After testing, it hits right under the cap at about 16 and a half meters, and that means a couple things. Number one, with the severe drop off they have, these do best 17 meters and in anyway. So if you don't put perks into range, you're gonna be okay. But if you do add any type of range perk, anything, it will hit the cap of 17 meters. All you need is a plus five and you're there. The more range that you have, it does help accuracy, aim assist like that with these fusions. But I've found that within the intended range, 17 meters and in, they're very sticky, they do well. Knowing that, you can look at the perks a tad differently. Now this has a set scope with barrels. It has a 1.8 time zoom, which is more than the standard 1.5X. So this does have a little bit of zoom to it. For the barrels, I would say stay away from a couple if you can manage it. There are better options, full bore specifically, because full bore gives plus 14 to range, negative nine to stability, negative five to handling. Remember all those stats on base are the lowest for the frame. So with full bore added, yeah, you get the more range, but you end up with 35 stability and 26 handling. It's just not worth it. And knowing what we know about the range stat, you shouldn't be going here. I would say the top four barrels are gonna go to small bore. That gives you the ability to hit the cap for range and it gives you stability. We have fluted barrel, plus 15 to handling, plus five to stability, polygonal, plus 10 to stability. And there's also corkscrew. I'll talk about that here at the end. For the recoil direction perks, you're already at 75. So anything added will help the deviation a little bit, but it's already vertical. You're gonna get away with not having it. The best of the three goes to chambered. It also gives plus 10 to stability. My top picks are gonna be fluted or small bore on this particular fusion rifle, but the third is actually gonna be corkscrew. It gives plus five to handling, plus five to stability, plus five to range. Not bad at all, it helps all the stats, it's gonna let you hit cap, it's gonna bring up all the other low stats and make it more complete. For the battery, if you want this for PVE, and there are some PVE rolls I wanna go over in a moment, a pure mag option is gonna suit you best, like enhanced battery. Accelerated and liquid is gonna be up to the player. I do prefer liquid on my fusions, cause the 39 per bolt goes to 40. Particle repeater and projection fuse are good as well. And when combining your barrels and the battery, if you want a little bit more range, there's nothing wrong with that. A lot of people like the stickiness that they feel with it. Also adding on things like targeting adjusters and so on. I do feel at 17 meters and in, that intended effective range up to about 20, the base range feels pretty good. The fusion that you've been seeing in this gameplay has on corkscrew rifling for the plus five to range and it feels sticky it feels great for perk column one this is the first fusion with killing wind and i went over these perks in a previous video and with killing wind after you get a kill you get increased mobility weapon range and handling all of those are important as far as handling it makes you way more snappy and all you fusion rifle users if you didn't know, that does matter depending on how you shoot it. A lot of players pre-charge and then kind of quick scope the burst out when the time comes, but know that the game thinks of any bolt that is not in aim down sights as a hip fire bolt. So this one has slow handling and say you can't be fully aim down sights or you do that quick scope movement as the burst is coming out. As you're coming into aim down sights, some of those bolts will count as hip fire bolts while others will hit at full damage. So if the bolts hit the target within that transition to aim down sights while that's happening, some of them will be hit fire damage, and a lot of times resulting in not getting the burst for the kill. Handling is very important on the fusions. That goes for this perk and the actual handling stat itself. Now, as far as range, it was discovered that while killing wind is active, it gives you increased accuracy, a tightened cone in the crosshair. This is a very good thing. With that, you're getting increased range. I do feel that this perk takes a percentage of the cap, and I feel it also takes a percentage of the range stat and common 
combination to the effective range of the weapon used. It was easily seen with the AR shown in the perk video. But with Killing Wind, max damage goes up to 19 meters, so kind of like Rangefinder, adds 2 meters. If this perk falls on other weapons one day, and it's one that can also pair Rangefinder, I'm very interested to see if Rangefinder and Killing Wind stack. So we have good accuracy, we have the added range, it's chainable, so you get a kill, it starts the timer over again, it's up for 5 seconds, but then we have the mobility. This gives you a moving target type feel, a max mobility feel. It's very nice to have. You feel fast when you're moving around areas, then getting to where you need to be, knee sliding, aiming down sights, strafing. Very elite perk, highly recommended for the Crucible. We have Feeding Frenzy. Each rapid kill with this weapon progressively increases reload for a short time. Lead from Gold, really useful PvE perk, especially when Heavyweight is on. Sideways, great perk. Sliding, will throw some ammo back in your magazine, as well as increased stability and handling. Quick Draw, top tier. Under pressure, as the mag gets lower, the fusion gets more stable. And the final perk node, we have Vorpal Weapon. In the Crucible, it's not enough to down a roaming super, but this perk can work in PvE situationally. Arc shields, using Vorpal on those shields, then on the Major, or Ultra, or Boss. I would be looking mostly for shields with Vorpal on this fusion. I'm gonna snag one just in case fusions are a part of the artifact in the future. Unrelenting. This perk is very good. Rapidly defeating targets gives health regeneration. It works off of a point system, you need three points. In the Crucible, a Guardian is worth 2 points, so you would need to kill back to back. So on the second kill, the perk is going to work. In PvE, red bars equal 1 point, Majors equals 2 points, Ultras and Bosses are 3 points. It's really good when you start to know the point system, knowing when it's going to proc. You do need 3 points, so if you down 2 red bars, on the third you know it's going to proc. Or if you down a red bar, and then a Major, it's going to proc. And it's going to immediately proc on Ultras and Boss kills. And not only does it start the regen, it also gives a chunk of your health. And this perk works similar to the original Worm Husk, very strong. It can and will keep you alive. We have Disruption Break, one of my favorite perks. After breaking shields, kinetic weapons deal 50% more damage. This even works in the Crucible. And in PvE, fusions are really good against shields. And with this one, again, it might be worth it to hold on to if one rolls, just in case fusions come up in the artifact later on. This or the Vorpal is going to be really good for those shields and arc shields. We have Surrounded, bonus damage when three or more enemies are near. It's never a bad perk. Just know with your reserves, you're going to have about 15, 16 total fusion shots, maybe a little bit more. So you can't really main this for too long. Be sure to have on Finders and Scavengers if you decide to run Surrounded, that way you can use it to its fullest potential. Sympathetic Arsenal, one of the new ones, reloading after final blow, reloads all stowed weapons. It does exactly that, it's a strong perk when running things like spike grenade launchers, and having this perk makes you not need auto-loading on the other ones. That way your other weapons can have a full perk selection without having auto-loading holster. We'll talk about it in a moment. Finally, backup plan, still great for what it is widely used for, shutting down rushers. It's going to be to the player, if you find benefit, go right ahead. On to perk combinations, I do want to talk about a couple combos because there's some use here. And some of these combos might not be for you, it could be for others. For the Crucible, I do believe the reason to use this fusion starts and ends with Killing Wind. The other fusions, main ingredient, Epicurean. The higher impacts, Arantil, have things like Tap the Trigger, Firmly Planted, various perks. This one with Killing Wind, in my opinion, does make it the most aggressive playstyle fusion in the game. I have some clips replaying to talk about it so you can look specifically. It's the ability to get that first kill, have that timer, be mobile. When the time comes to be able to aim down sights fast, strafe fast, you're getting that accuracy, that range bonus. It's very complete for rushing. You can do very well with it, and that makes it somewhat niche. But when you have Killing Wind going, and you're grooving and shaking, there's no other experience like it. The weapon feels very good, sticky, and you have overall confidence going into those gunfights. Going target to target, strafing in and out of cover to land shots. It is played very different than, let's say, a firmly planted fusion, or other fusions in general. Its strength is your movement with it. When you pair Killing Wind, there are some options, and the first one that comes to mind is Unrelenting. After a double kill in PvE, you might need that health bump and that regeneration. There's also Disruption Break, that works, because if you break the shields, you can do more damage with your kinetic weapon or your teammates can as well. Disruption Break has utility versus supers because you can break the shield and use the kinetic. But to talk a little bit more of why it kind of starts and ends with Killing Wind for the Crucible, it's because with the other perks here, I believe they fare way better on other fusions, under pressure as an example. The other fusions just have a better toolkit with those perks, but they don't have Killing Wind, and that's where this fusion shines. As far as other perks in that first node, a case can be made for Slideways. Hollow Words is the only fusion in Destiny 2 that can roll it. For PvE, I say these rolls because with these Ingrams, you get a chance at a lot of them, at different rolls. One of the first ones I want to talk about is Feeding Frenzy with Sympathetic Arsenal. It just works. 
because you would use your other weapons, deplete the magazine to them, just keep cycling through damage, switch to the fusion, get some kills with it, you stack Feeding Frenzy, getting that fast reload. When you have Feeding Frenzy stacked up, reload Hollow Words, and then everything in the background gets reloaded. That combination, this roll, is used for that specifically. It would be a constant damage stream, and the only reload that takes place on all of your weapons is the stacked Feeding Frenzy. It just works well. As far as other perks for PvE, be mindful of Disruption Break and Vorpal with what I discussed earlier. Those pair with Quick Draw best because you can bring that fusion out quickly and use the other perk to keep it going. Use Disruption Break, use Vorpal Weapon. And aside from Quick Draw, Lead from Gold paired with those work as well. This fusion to me, and from what I've used, is the most aggressive playstyle fusion in the game. All of it. Every aspect of the game. If you're using Disruption Break or Vorpal in PvE, you're getting in there. Switching to the fusion, breaking the shield, switching to your other weapons. It has a job, and you're pairing those with Feeding Frenzy. In the Crucible, it's about being aggressive with Killing Wind. And to note, with Killing Wind, all those low stats are high, like the handling, the accuracy stats better, and so on. It really helps the overall feel from where it started at base. It isn't a sit down, knee slide type of fusion from what I found. It's for the aggressive player. And if you hold back with it, I think that's where it can fail you. Otherwise, your other fusions with other perks mentioned are going to be that better choice. In PvE, it's more of a vessel for the rest of your loadout. In the Crucible, it's a run and gun type thing. I like it a lot. It does have a place. I do play it very differently than my Epicurean, my Air until my other fusions. Because it's special with what you can do with it. If you're new here, remember to hit the subscribe button, and if you are subscribed, thank you so much for your support. If you're looking for a new controller, I am partnered with Scuff Gaming, there's a link down below, and you can use my code COOL at checkout for a discount. I've seen different opinions. For the Crucible, it's very perk dependent, and I do encourage you to try the aggressive killing wind. That's what sets it apart. I would like to know what you think about Hollow Words. Let's talk about it down below in the comment section. Thank you for watching, and until the next one, I am Cool Guy.